Dimplex controller with touch display is supplied as a wall-mounted version for external heat pumps. With all other heat pumps, the touch display is integrated in the housing of the indoor unit. When removing the cover, make sure that it is earthed and that the display has to be unplugged. All connections are led to the outside via circuit boards and have color-coded and numbered plugs. There is a sticker on the inside of the sheet metal cover showing the inputs and outputs with the corresponding numbers and colors for easier orientation. The touch display and the refrigerant circuit controller in the heat pump are each connected to the heat pump manager via a separate bus line. The heat pump manager requires a 230 volt power supply. This has to be wired to connection terminal X1.1. The heat pump manager has four standard function blocks. A function block describes inputs and outputs, e.g. for sensors, mixes or circulation pumps. The gray function block is pre-assigned with all functionally necessary inputs and outputs. The yellow, green and red function blocks can flexibly be assigned with additional functions. The electrical connection of the new heat pump manager is explained using the following hydraulic example. This consists of an unmixed and a mixed heating circuit, e.g. for a combination of radiators and underfloor heating, as well as hot water heating and a combination with an oil or gas boiler. The gray block of the heat pump manager is always pre-assigned with the basic functions of a heat pump. This includes the following functions. The respective inputs and outputs are described and assigned on the gray block within the supplied quick installation guide. This will now be explained using the M13 circulation pump as an example. The M13 circulation pump must be connected to the gray connector 5 according to the gray sticker. The corresponding connector can be found in the quick installation guide at the following point. If the circulation pump M13 is to be controlled via a 0 to 10 volt signal or a pulsed signal modulation, this can be tapped via the gray connector 8Y1. This procedure is to be carried out in the same way for all other inputs and outputs. The circulation pump M16 is clamped onto the gray connector 13, NO4. The outside temperature sensor R1 is clamped to the gray connector 3, U2 and the relay K20 for the immersion heater or the pipe heater is clamped on the gray connector 7, NO3. If heating circuits are controlled with the Dimplex Smart RTC plus room temperature control, these must be wired to the bus connection terminal J29. The next step is to assign the yellow function block. For the hydraulic example shown, we need the hot water function. This function requires a sensor, the circulation pump and the output for a flange heater. In order to facilitate and document the connection work, the hot water function is now removed from the supplied sticker sheet and affixed to the yellow function block. Inputs and outputs for the hot water function are defined for each connector of the yellow function block. The respective inputs and outputs on the yellow function block are described and assigned on the quick installation guide supplied. All other connections are to be made in the same way as in the previous example for the grey function block. The hot water sensor R3 is clamped onto the yellow plug 3, U7. The switching valve or the circulation pump M18 is clamped to the yellow connector 5, NO5 and the relay K21 for the flange heater is to be clamped to the yellow connector 7, NO7. The next step is to assign the green function block. For the hydraulic example shown, we need the mixed second circuit function. This function requires a sensor, a circulation pump and the outputs for the mixer. In order to facilitate and document the connection work, the mixed function of the second circle is now removed from the supplied sticker sheet and stuck to the green function block. Inputs and outputs for the mixed circuit function are thus defined for each connector of the green function block. The respective inputs and outputs on the green function block are described and assigned on the quick installation guide supplied. All other connections are to be made in the same way as in the previous example for the grey function block. The sensor R5 is clamped to the green connector 3, U9. The circulation pump M15 is plugged into the green plug 5N08. 
the Mixer M22 is clamped onto the green plugs 6 and 7, N09 and N010. In the last step of the example, the red function block is now assigned the bivalent function. This function requires the control of the oil or gas boiler and the four-way mixer. In order to facilitate and document the connection work, the bivalent function is now removed from the supplied sticker sheet and affixed to the red function block. Inputs and outputs for the function are bivalent defined for each connector of the red function block. The respective outputs on the red function block are described and assigned on the quick installation guide supplied. All other connections are to be made in the same way as in the previous example for the grey function block. The second heat generator E10 in the form of an oil or gas boiler is clamped onto the red plug 5, NO11. The mixer M26 is clamped onto the red plugs NO12 and NO13. The heat pump manager is now wired according to the hydraulic example. By correctly sticking the colored function blocks, the initial connection is made easier and documented in a comprehensible manner for the future. The connection work carried out must be recorded in the electrical documentation of the heat pump. The corresponding pages are marked with boxes to be crossed. In this case, hot water is marked with yellow, the second circle with green and bivalent with red. In this way, the system configuration can always be traced. The following functions are available for the configuration of the heat pump manager. Hot water, mixed first circuit, mixed second circuit, active cooling, bivalent, bivalent renewable, swimming pool, passive cooling, solar and mixed third circuit. The heat pump and its configuration determine the functional options that can be selected. For example, the cooling function block can only be used successfully if the heat pump is designed for this function. Information on this can be found in the relevant product specifications. If the system configuration exceeds the three existing function blocks of the heat pump manager, two additional function blocks can be added using the WPM Touch Plus 2 accessory. After all electrical connection work has been completed, the housing can be closed again. If it is a wall-mounted controller, the touch display must be reconnected and the grounding of the housing restored. 